hello folks this video onwards i'm going to start developing the front end of our uh, sentiment analysis web app so i'm going to briefly introduce flask framework and then later on would be explaining the python code associated to serving predictions of our sentiment analysis model which we created in previous video i will be calling uh, that saved model in our web app uh, so if in case you don't know how to create and set up flask project folder activate environment and install flask and other related libraries then in in that environment then you can watch the video given in the i button over these videos are part of deploy machine learning models as web app using flask and docker on azure cloud playlist so watch this video till the end to get the complete details Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands-on approach to build AI based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, then consider su uh, subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. Flask is a micro framework which provides you with tools, libraries as well as uh, technologies which allows uh, one to build web applications. It's a micro framework in a sense that it has very little or no dependency to external libraries making it very light framework. You can uh, though incorporate additional features by adding plugins. The web application built using Flask can be a blog page or a full-fledged commercial website. We generally use uh, some kind of editor to write the code for Flask. Okay, I'm using Atom editor here. Uh, let me open and show it to you. So here is the Atom editor. Okay, so every Flask app more or less contain a few components. Uh, so it generally has a Python file which contains the entire logic or core functionality. For example, how to take the input. I mean, the file uh, contains uh, the functionality like how to take the input, transform that input, serving it to the machine learning model and generating the prediction output as you can see on the left hand side. So you can see on the left hand side, this is this is my uh, app AI app okay where it has components like static folder then we have templates app.py sentiment analysis.h5 which is our um, uh, uh, saved model file okay so this is app.py okay and uh, as you can see we have a templates folder where we keep uh, you know here we, this is the folder where we keep our web pages which receives input from the user and uh, maybe a separate web page sometimes to show the output on the screen. Okay. Uh, then we have a static folder as you can see here. Okay. So uh, this is static folder is one where we keep our images. As you can see, this is our images folder subfolder img underscore pool. Then we can keep uh, CSS files in this static folder. Uh, the Java scripts, etc. Okay, now without further delay, let's take a look at our app.py, which is also we have kept here along with this, um, you know, machine learning model, the sentiment analysis uh, Keras model. Okay, so let's uh, this is my app.py file, okay, which contains the entire logic related to providing predictions uh, when a user provides an input text okay so i will explain different components as and when i encounter them so first here i'm importing as you can see here uh, you know few libraries uh, like render template okay uh, which is used to render any web pages uh, web templates like home page about page login page etc okay then we have a request okay uh, libraries such as um, and which is a library we uh, use to uh, you know cater user requests such as get post right etc then we have a url for okay 
uh, which is used to build a URL to a specific function and is beneficial when we don't want to hard code uh, a URL and rather wants to provide it dynamically. Okay, that's where we use URL for. Then we have a regular uh, NumPy and Pandas uh, and RE for regular expression libraries to perform mathematical and string operations. I also imported uh, TensorFlow here, okay, because we have used TensorFlow as backend for our uh, Keras model and I wanted to initialize the default TensorFlow graph as well, uh, hence imported uh, TensorFlow here. So you can see I have uh, initialize the graph here okay so in the next line um, um you know i have uh, imported uh, keras libraries to import imdb uh, data data set then we have sequence right to pad uh, the short reviews and then we have load model you know library to basically uh, load our saved models so in the next line, uh, I defined image folder location using os.path.join here, right? Uh, to that application, uh, so that application can render the related images, okay? In our case, uh, these are, as you can see here, sad emoji and smiling emoji. So if we want to render these images on our web page, we have to define it here okay static is the root folder okay and then img pool is the subfolder from where i need to pick these uh, image files and we are joining these two folders right here so in our case um, uh, as i told you set and smiling emojis are the image files next we have app equals to flask uh, in the and in the braces underscore underscore name underscore underscore where this underscore underscore name underscore underscore means that this is the current file in our case it is app dot py file here this current file represents our web applications okay here we are creating an instance of our flask class here you can see we are creating an instance of flask class and calling it app we are calling it as app that is we are creating a new web application here that what that's what it means next we have app.config uh, and in the solid brackets upload folder which defines the part for upload folder that is it is a location where we uh, store the uploaded files okay so which is so i have assigned image folders here so that's where we store our images this is what uh, this what uh, this folder is next i have created uh, an initialization function here as you can see okay so this is the initialization function here uh, with the name in it okay right here i am initializing our pre-trained keras model or pre-trained keras sentiment analysis model rather as you can see here so this is my sentiment analysis .h5 file which I have kept here in my directory and I'm initializing that model at the very beginning so that I don't have to uh, you know call it again and again it starts uh, it initializes at the start of the program that's what I'm doing here so um, uh, in the next line I'm using uh, this uh, something called flask decorators shown by app dot root at the rate app dot root which is used to match URLs to view functions in flask apps when a decorated function is called the decorator is called instead okay keep in mind the decorator can then uh, take action modify the arguments uh, you know um, halt the execution or can or can call the original function please note that you need uh, you know immediately you need to immediately define a python function <coughs> right after decorator if you want to execute the functionality contained in that function when you inv invoke that decorator as you have already seen here i have defined a function right after this decorator because i wanted to 
so in between this you can um, you know include any functionality okay uh, so for example in our case I have defined this decorator okay this decorator here and here slash depict that it is a home page and methods associated with that home page are both get and post okay because we want to both post the input to the server as well as we want to get the output from the server once the processing is done okay on the home page now as you can see i have defined a function with this with the name home here okay right so uh, right after the decorator right after the decorator i have defined this home function okay and i am rendering the template here you, you can see that i am rendering the template called home.html as the return argument it means that when i provide slash as decorator on my web url then my home page home.html will be called in simple words at the rate app dot root this particular statement okay represents the default page for example if i go to a website such as youtube.com and then slash with nothing after the slash then this will be the default page of youtube function uh, this function you know uh, below gets the act gets activated when the user goes to a uh, goes to my website and they go to the default page that is nothing after slash okay so folks this is it for this video to conclude i briefly introduce flask as well as uh, different components of it i also explained some of the code involved with respect to sentiment analysis application i will be covering next uh, you know the remaining uh, code of this uh, particular file in the next video so stay tuned uh, let me ask you a question from uh, this video. Uh, what is the role of decorators in Flask apps? Please post your comment in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.